Coming up in this episode, we get lost in the forest, we find the best picnic bench on the entire Yorkshire coast, and we learn a new move from a fellow Gen Xer. This is the Garmin E-Trex 32X. It comes preloaded with all of Europe's topo maps. You can get all the survey maps for it, or we find the topo maps are just fine. It takes two AA batteries. The two AA batteries last for 25 hours, constantly on. The screen's easily readable in bright light, and it's completely weatherproof. Uh, you can get it as wet as you like, and temperature resistant down to minus 20, so it's great for those winter hikes. Over to you. Well, we're actually going to try it with some fellow Gen Xers that we've got visiting. Um, they've never used anything like this before, so we're going to preload the walk up and get them to take us on the walk. This walk. Lots of twists and turns. They don't know this area at all. In fact, a lot of this area is new to us, so if they get us lost, we'll get lost. We'll get lost. But hopefully it's going to be a good test Fingers crossed. of this device.
can first make sure that you're not affiliated with Garmin. I'm not affiliated with Garmin, but any contributions to Generation X would be much appreciated. They certainly would. Why have you got a spoon? Oh. Better. Thank you very much. What were your opinions of the Garmin 32X on the day out? It was alright, I only got lost a couple of times, but that's because you, you do it upside down, you go backwards, and you'll see from the video I got lost, but I'm quite happy to admit that. If you put a flashing light on it, it wouldn't have this issue, right? It's not difficult, flashing light, beep, 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 you hold it the right way up. So your only concern that was right knowing which way to hold it up? It was, because I kept going the wrong way, well, only a few times. And considering I'm technophobic, I think that's pretty good. And what was your opinion of the height? Well, I live in just outside Blackpool and we don't do a lot of walking, so I think it's a bit cruel to do a six mile hike to start with. I mean, I came here for a bit of a break, not to be put through hell and torture. <laughs> don't think I'll come back. Uh, if you to mark it out of ten, what would you give it? I would give it nine, but a ten if there's a flashing light. I'd like to paint in that to Garmin. Flashing lights, we hold it the wrong way, the, sorry, the right way up. Not that way, because you go backwards that way, you know where you're going. So, a solid nine. A bullet ten with a flashing light. Ten with a flashing light, but just for Garmin Records, I've patented that. So if you bring it out, you pay Generation X. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mark, for joining us. So, Mark. Oh, dear. Uh, uh, so. <laughs> I didn't press record, I swear to God. Take three. Take three. Okay. It's going to take forever. So, Mark. Um, why am I giving that to Wait, you? Wait, we spin. <laughs> this is serious. So, Mark. Why? Why pass it to him? Spoon. It's a spoon. Give me the mic. Right, okay. Sorry about this. <laughs> That's better. I'm professional. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I don't know how to hold the mic. I've never held the mic before. Hello, everybody. This is a garment. That's better. I'm professional. That's better. I'm professional.